Hello everybody, my name is Doomfish, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about a couple of different vertical wire designs in Minecraft. So all these are, are different designs that are capable of carrying a signal either straight up, or straight down, or sometimes they can carry them both ways. So these ones have different functions, like for example, some of them will send a short pulse down every time we flick a lever. Some of them will send a continuous pulse up or down, like this one, we can see the lamp is on, flick it again, lamp is off. And yeah, so they do have different functions, different applications, and some of them have different resource costs, pros and cons, and I'll get right into all that right away. So the first design is a relatively simple one that can carry pulses downwards, and this is the cobblestone wall here. So all it is, is you head up with some walls right here, they don't have to be cobblestone, um, whatever distance you want. I think you can go all the way up to build limit with this design, but I'm just going to go up a couple of blocks. At the bottom, we're going to want an observer facing upwards into that middle wall piece right there. And then up here, we're going to want something sort of like this, where we have a wall on the side here. And above it, we're going to have a piston facing downwards. So every time we flick this, you can see that we actually do get a pulse out of there. It's kind of hard to see. Maybe this will be a little better. We can see the pulse in our redstone lamp down there. And the way this works is when we flick a lever, this uh, wall will actually change to a wall post instead of just a wall. Every time this changes, and it'll change back. And the observer can actually detect this right here. So that design carried a pulse downwards, now we'll look at one that can carry a pulse upwards. So all it takes is some redstone dust, and then we need to do some alternating layers of slabs up to the top. It's going to be kind of hard to place these, but I would just generally do this, so solid block slab, block slab, all the way up. And then we can see that if we place down maybe one more slab right here, and we're going to place down our redstone lamp here, and just place down dust all over here, that we can actually carry a pulse upwards like so in a more compact space than we normally would be able to. Now this doesn't work downwards, you can see that we can just go ahead and do this, and we can see that it won't actually carry this pulse down to the bottom. Instead of using slabs, we can do the exact same thing with glass blocks, and it works just the same. Now something to note about this is that this is for the Java edition, and everything in this tutorial is for that version, but if you are on bedrock, then this pulse will actually carry this signal downward. So as you can see, since we're on Java Edition, it just sort of stops right here, even though it looks like it should continue. And I believe on Bedrock, this will actually continue all the way to the bottom, which is very convenient if you're on that version. Next up, we've got some designs that can work both ways, both up and down. And the first one, and probably the best one, is going to be placing a sticky piston here, and going ahead and placing 11 slime blocks on top, like so, and then a redstone block here, leaving a space, uh, placing another sticky piston facing up. Then we can break this block and go ahead and just repeat this process however high we want. And so what we can see is that if we go to the bottom here, well actually I'll place down a redstone lamp so we can get a good demonstration of how this works. So right now it's off, we can go ahead, head to the bottom, place down our lever, and go ahead and see that this functions properly. And there we go. Now the same design also works going down, so we can see that we just rebuilt our entire thing, but basically everything was facing upwards, like these pistons were once facing up, now they're facing down, and it still works the same way. So this design is great if you have a pulse that it's important how long it is, so we can basically control how long this pulse is, similar to our sort of staircase design over there, but it does work both ways. And something bad about this is that you can have some trouble with getting some of these materials, if you don't have the greatest slime farm, then getting all these slime blocks will be difficult if you need to carry your pulse any long distance. Now our last design here is going to be one of the more unique ones in this video, and that is going to be using some leaf blocks. So what we need to do is put a sticky piston facing upwards into a solid uh, log block. It's very important this is some kind of log. We're going to leave a space right here, and place six leaves going up. Then place an observer into another sticky piston into another log and then go ahead and do the same exact thing with your six leaves. When you get to the top, or whatever point you want to stop, go ahead and put a observer right here, and we can treat this as our output. So what we can see is that right now it's off, we flick it once, and we'll get an observer output up there, flick it again, get another observer output just like so. And just like the slime block design, this does work in both directions, so we've built the same thing facing downwards, so we've got sticky pistons facing down, observers facing up into these leaves, and so on, and it works just the same way. So we get an observer pulse out here every time we flick the lever. Now this is great if you don't have as many materials. Again, this is a lot cheaper. It only uses leaves, logs, observers, and sticky pistons. So you will still need some slime for this to work. Um, one of the drawbacks is that it can be a little finicky. I don't have any problems with it in this design in particular. But using this leaf design, sometimes you get double pulses. Um, sometimes some weird things happen. But with this design in particular, you should be a-okay. 
Also, it can be a little difficult, so we can only travel, um, we can only use Observer Pulses here. And if you have any length of sticky pistons or any length of distance you want to cover that's may, maybe 20 blocks or longer, it can take a while for you to actually get your pulse to travel. As we can see, we do have some degree of delay out here for this pulse to go all the way up there. Whereas with our other design, it is more or less, well, it's not instant per se, but it is a lot quicker. We can see that I can barely even look up this lever right here to actually see the sticky piston uh, moving and changing that redstone lamp up there. This design is great if you've got the resources to do it. And if you're on, again, these are all for Java edition, but um, this is great if you have resources. And this is great if you're just starting out, but you want to be able to transmit your signals in a compact space vertically. So that's going to do it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed or found it informative. And if you did, don't be afraid to leave a like. And you can subscribe for more content just like this in the future. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.